Coach Greeny, we're sitting here today with the volleyball team being ranked number 17th in the nation, tied for first in the Pac-12. Did you envision this start to the Pac-12 season? Well, uh, it's been a, a, it was a good week. Last week was a great week um, for Cougar Volleyball. And, um, you know, we had played well in the preseason and we knew we were going to have a really, really tough start to the Pac-12 um, schedule. Just two top 10 teams on the road, but, um, you know, very proud of the way that our team performed and, and came away with, with two wins and pretty excited to be back in Bowler Gym this week. So a couple of things that I've seen with this team is their ability to come back. They get down in points, but they have the ability to come back that we haven't seen in previous teams. Are you coaching that? Yeah, you know, I think um, just the way we've been practicing, you know, we have a lot of competition in practice and um, try to put the team in situations where they need to, you know, get a first ball kill or, or run off some points in a row. So definitely, you know, uh, we wouldn't, necessarily want to be in that situation you know we we definitely need to stop the runs of the other team um, and then focus on getting the runs ourselves and getting more than one point at a time but um, yeah just really proud of the grit of this team and being able to battle through some some tough situations and um, you know get us back into some sets and come away with the victories. What parts of your offense were really important in these two wins? Well, you know, it was different people on different nights, um, but I think Taylor Mims especially um, has been doing some really great things for us um, in transition in the middle, um, playing really well. And then, you know, it was Kyra Holt doing some great things on um, last Wednesday against Washington, and then Casey Shaneline was pretty unstoppable against UCLA. So that's what's nice about this team is it can be somebody else. Um, on any given night, and I still don't think that we have played our best volleyball all together um, at the same time, and so that's pretty exciting that we still have a lot to work on and a lot to get better at. Looking forward to Friday when you take on number nine Stanford. They're the number one blocking team in the country. We're number four. How will that match play out? Yeah, that'll be interesting for our team to go against. Um, another really, really solid and big blocking team. You know, we see that every day in practice, um, so I think that helps us. Um, but, you know, we need to pass well and, and get our offense going um, from the beginning to be able to, you know, get it past such a, a great Stanford block. So when your team finds out about this national ranking, is that something that you worry about them being focused on that instead of the day-to-day -day aspect of getting better? Yeah, I, I don't think that that's going to affect them. Um, you know, it's something nice, and it's other people's opinion um, of us, for sure. Um, and it's a great accomplishment, but we're certainly not done. Um, you know, we really focus on every single day getting better in practice and, and the process, not necessarily the result. Um, so, yeah, it's just another thing that we don't have to worry about, and we just go on and continue to do what we've been doing. How important is playing in the only volleyball, only dedicated facility in the Pac-12. What does that home crowd bring to the Cougar volleyball team? Well, I think Bowler Gym is so much different than um, anywhere else in the Pac-12. You know, we play in all of these basketball type arenas um, where even if you have a, a great crowd, it just doesn't seem, you know, that loud or that boisterous. But when you walk into Bowler Gym and there's a, a great student section and and a lot of people from the community here, and the band is loud, and cheerleaders are awesome. Um, it does, it really does create a home court advantage, and um, you know I think that's something different that that these teams don't see on a regular basis. And um, so really excited for this weekend. All right, good luck to the Cougars this weekend at home Friday against Stanford, and Sunday morning against Cal. Great, thanks.